All right, 360 Kev! It's up 360. What? Class of 2019, looking for an incredible slash free leadership opportunity this summer? Check out the Rotary Youth Leaders Award, or RILA, conference at Messiah College this summer from June 10th to 14th. RILA provides leadership training for outstanding young men and women. This schedule includes various speakers, career seminars, a challenge course, team building activities, and much, much more. For more information about this free student leadership conference, be sure to check out the application in Schoology, or you can pick one up in the counseling office. Don't delay, because initial paperwork needs to be submitted to the counseling office by April 5th. If you have any questions, please see your guidance counselor ASAP. Attention seniors, the National Bank Scholarship Program, including the Hishbin Scholarship, are now open. Log on to the Naviance Family Connections to complete your application. Apply today and get free money. Appli applications and all materials are free money. by March 31st. <clears throat> the second March Saturday detention will be held this Saturday, March 24th from 8 a.m. to 11. Do you need that, Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> Students can attend the makeup obligation time. Time is doubled on Saturdays. The EHS theater program are looking for members to cover stage crew and some technical board positions. Any students interested in being part of this year's spring musical production, Beauty and the Beast, stage crew, should report to the auditorium beginning March 26 Monday for a brief meeting with Mr. Gonzalez at 4 15 p.m. Plan to stay for about an hour. Those who are interested in learning about the lighting or soundboard position, stop by Mr. Bishop, most beautiful man in room 318 for more information. <laughs> all students involved in the spring musical must be in good standing and in compliance with all academic requirements. Beauty and the Beast performance will date, dates will be April 12th and April 14th. And wow, you missed. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be legally blind? Have you ever seen someone with a visual impairment and wondered how they navigate the world? Well, we have an opportunity for you to find out. Next Wednesday, March 28th, the FFA will be hosting specialist Andrea Benari to teach us how to, to use the visually impaired, to teach us how the visually impaired use tools like canes, braille, and sighted guides to do everyday tasks. Participants will also have the opportunity to experience what it's like to have a visual impairment through the use of simulation glasses. The workshop will start after school at 2.50 p.m. in room 316. You do not have to be an FFA member to participate. All are welcome. Now, over to Eddie C., the leprechaun, with the news. Pens <laughs> and pencils. Ha! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to flex on you. It's called fashion sweaty. Look it up. <laughs> The Austin serial bomber spree of domestic terrorism came to a close yesterday after he detonated a an explosive device in his car following the conclusion of a police chase. The serial bomber was a 23-year-old who had been homeschooled and failed to complete his degree at the Austin Community College. His parcel bombs were responsible for killing two people and injuring six. On this day in history, the British imposed the Stamp Act on the American colonists in an effort to raise money to pay off their expenses from the French and Indian War. Parliament passed a tax on all printed materials such as blank cards and newspapers. As I'm sure we all know, this tax, in addition to the various other taxes imposed both before and after the Stamp Act, did not make the colonists very happy, and these taxes were one of the leading causes toward, of the Revolutionary War. Now over, now back to the main desk with the lunch. Hey, we... Hey. We you have lunch today, we do not have it, so uh, we're just going to sports. Enjoy lunch. Slushy. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Said the bummer between now with the bag. <laughs> I was going to, I was going to say something like that, but I was like, oh. That would be, that would be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but what's even better is like everyone's just not a terrorist. He is a terrorist. He's <laughs> there are no results in the Sportes de Deportes due to the massive amount of white powder snow outside. Are you interested in studying kinesiology in college? Penn State Berks is holding an event on April 12th from 5.30 to 7 o'clock. See Ms. Dombach for more information. But on that date, you should go and see um, Beauty and the Beast because... That's that's opening night, so go go do that instead. Yeet, Sorry, yeet. Tombok. Today in sports, there will be a lot of uh, shoveling. Track team, you guys are shoveling off the track. Uh, have, have, uh, bundle up. Dollar shoe. Rowers. Now, back to the main desk.
sophomores and juniors, are you interested in helping the class of 2022 nope. have a smooth transition to EHS next year? Link Crew is looking for you. Link leaders are upperclassmen who are solid role models for younger students who have been successful at our school. We are looking for responsible 10th and 12th 12th, 10th and 11th graders with communication skills and leadership potential who are willing to share the lessons they have learned that have allowed them to be successful at AHS. You could have a tremendous impact on our new students and you will learn many valuable leadership skills in the process. Link leaders are trained to work with and help the incoming freshman class transition into high school. If this sounds interesting to you, fill out an application right away. Applications are available through Schoology and are due by Thursday, March 29th. In addition to the online application, be sure to have your favorite teacher, Mr. Bischoff, <laughs> complete a teacher recommendation form and return it to the counseling office before Friday, <laughs> April 6th. If you aren't sure and would like to know more, please see Mrs. Mandel or Mr. Hrabowski <laughs> for more information. <laughs> Speaking of Link Crew, check out this video for their upcoming event, Roll Film. You're in 12th place. All right, that was the point. I had to do it really bad so that it's like, tired of playing video games by yourself? Wah, wah, wah. And then it goes, and then it's, uh, it's really, my narration, it sounds like I'm like on drug. <coughs> Link Crew is having is a Mario Kart tournament. Can Jam? I love Can Jam. I love so Can Jam. No, I want that I want Mario Kart. True, I don't know. Maybe Mario? Spikeball's Spike Ball's really fun, too. Dude, football? Like trash. That's next Thursday. <laughs> That's right. The day we have. This, this, yeah. this announcement is for any students who would like to learn more about the United States Naval Academy as a post-secondary college option. There will be a bus to visit the academy, which is located in Annapolis, Maryland, on Saturday, March 31st. The purpose of this trip is to give interested students and their parents an opportunity to see the academy firsthand. Learn about the application or and appointment process, and meet with the local and area high school graduates who are presently midshipmen at the academy. If you are, if you have any interest in serving your country as an officer, this is a great way to attend college for free. As a degree for the academy is estimated to be approximately worth four hundred thousand dollars for the four-year program. Check out the information sheet on Schoology if you would like to learn more. Hey. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow to Effort at AM, where we're going to have a special episode and crown the winner of Sir Shamrock. Make sure you're watching. Oh, hey, that was me. Ah, oh. That's it for us today, Effort uh, And uh, let's find out. Um, is Anthony here illegally? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Find out on the vote on Seth Bollinger's Snapchat story. <laughs> Maybe we will. Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy spring. Maybe I'm from Mexico. Maybe I'm from Missouri. <laughs> <laughs>